Hey everyone, Brad here today from the OFAH Heritage Centre. This month we'll be learning even more about waterfowl. Last month we learned all about ducks and this month we're going to learn about their larger relative, geese. In this month's lesson we're going to aim to answer three questions all about geese. How do we identify geese? Where do they live? And what do they eat? So stay tuned as we learn all about geese today. How do we identify geese? Geese are well adapted to life on land and in the water. Their webbed feet allow them to do very well in the water and to walk effectively on land as well. Their feathers contain specialized oils to help them shed water and stay dry, to maintain insulation and stay warm in cold temperatures. Geese are typically much larger than most duck species, usually at least double the size. They have a similar long body shape to ducks, but they do have much longer necks than ducks when we compare their body shapes. Geese do not display different traits from males to females the way that ducks do, but male geese do tend to be larger than females. Geese bills, which is what we call their beaks, are made up of tough flesh with a thin leathery skin on top. Geese have shorter, narrower bills than ducks, which gives geese a stronger bite for pruning tough plant parts. There are two species of geese which are most found in Ontario. They are the Canada goose and the snow goose. On top of these two species of geese, Ontario also sees up to nine other species during migrations. These species include the cackling goose, the brant, the Ross's goose, and the barnacle goose, among others. Canada geese are very common birds to see. All Ontarians know these birds with their V-shaped migration flying patterns and their honking calls. These are the Canada geese. They have black heads with white cheek patches and long black necks. Their chests are grey to brown colored and they have dark brown backs, black rumps and black tails. Canada geese also have black bills, legs and feet. These are by far the most common types of geese found in Ontario. Snow geese are also common in certain regions. The snow goose is a white bodied goose with black wing tips but these black wing tips are barely visible when they're on the ground. They're easier to see when snow geese are in flight. They have pink bills, which have a dark line along them, often called a grinning patch, like when you smile. They might also look like these geese have black lips. If snow geese are around, they'll be hard to miss, as they move in huge flocks and make a gigantic amount of noise, both when they're in the air and on the ground. Where do they live? Geese are often migratory, which means they travel long distances depending upon the time of year. They usually move north during the summers to breed, and they head south for the winter. Many species of geese head north in the summer and breed in the high arctic. This includes areas of Nunavut, Labrador, and other similar areas very far north. They migrate south into Ontario, and some of them even further south into the United States for the cold weather. And Canada geese in Ontario don't always migrate the way we think. Not all Canada geese fly south to the US. Instead, many Canada geese will find open bodies of water near farmlands in southern Ontario to spend the winter and cold weather. 
Wetlands are very important areas for geese. All geese species will depend on wetlands at some point throughout their lives. Wetlands are a source of water and food. They're also used as resting and shelter locations. And many social interactions occur in wetlands, such as breeding. Grasslands and farmlands are also critical habitat for geese. Many species depend on grasslands for nesting, as well as for feeding and raising their young, which we call goslings. Geese will use these areas until the goslings are old enough to fly and join in on their migrations. Geese will also use grasslands, fields, and farmers' crops as spots for feeding and resting along their migration routes. What do they eat? Geese are mainly herbivores, which means they eat plants. They eat mostly vegetation, seeds, grain, grasses, and roots. Some of the food they consume will be in wetlands, but geese get most of their food on land in grasslands, fields, parks, and more open areas like these. Sometimes geese do feed on things other than plants, which means they can be omnivores. This means they can consume both animal meat and plant material. Geese that are omnivores will sometimes be known to eat insects, crayfish, fish, and other meat, but this is not their main diet. I hope you've learned a lot about these much larger relatives to ducks. Now that you have, keep an eye out for these interesting waterfowl wherever you go. You just may be surprised where geese will show up. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like this video and comment below. Don't forget to check out the resources section on our webpage. There you'll find free printable resource material like mini lessons and activity pages to follow up the virtual lessons. And please subscribe to stay connected as we learn together outside the classroom.